Okay, finally on the show, joining us, seasoned radio and TV personality, rapper. <laughs> for some of you that don't know, for some of you that don't know, dancer. <laughs> And yoga instructor. That's a yoga instructor, yeah. executive producer, Andre Blaze. He is here. Oh, it's great to have you, Andre. You are welcome. You're welcome. Mike, I should get you to fill in my LinkedIn. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go back a You're bit. You're laughing at your intro. What let's, exactly is funny about well, this? I mean, okay, let's go back a bit. This guy is one of the best dancers I ever saw. I, I, oh. Okay, I mean, okay. Let's so. go back. I mean, this was, uh, what now? This is ninth. This is, uh, no, this is, this is, this is, this is 2000. Oh. What now? 2000, 2001. Yeah. Yeah. Potako Choba, Uniport, <laughs> <laughs> Spirit of David. Let's, let's, wait, wait, okay, in let's. In the opening bout of this interview, you've already <laughs> just put me out there in the wind. Well let's, done. Let's, well let's, done. let's talk about school and all of that. After mm -hmm. school and the movement into media and all of that, you started out as a wonderful dancer and all of that. How, I mean, how did, how did it happen? Um... I think I've always had a, an interest in the ranges of creative expression. Mm. So first there was poetry, then there was, there was a lot of reading growing mm. up, a lot. So mm. there was reading and It shows. There was a lot of reading, uh, there, yeah. was, uh, there was some poetry, then there was rap. And rap music really changed everything for me. Mm. Because rap music, the sort of rap music I did or I liked was more freestyle battling. Mm. So there was the... The emphasis was on being able to stand there, think up the response, deliver it. So you had to think about content, but also think about how you were going to deliver it. Deliver that it. Mm. Um, but after you've done that for a little while, your brain sort of gets used to being able to pull a quick draw, you know, like mm. go from the hip and just mm. get it. Um, radio okay. came in later uh, after I did a year of print. Uh, radio was six and a half years, I believe, mm. which was easily the best time of my life. Oh, wow. Many people easily. say so. Radio <laughs> is... No disrespect to television. <laughs> no. Wow. Um, We're just looking at me like... I was like, no. Wow. <laughs> keep going. No, keep no. Going. Radio is beautiful because radio forces you to think on your feet in a way that television sort of lets you off the hook from. Apart from you guys. Mm. We're not thinking. No, no, you guys oh. are thinking for everybody else on TV, inclusive of me. Mm. So, mm. you know, thank you. Mm. We salute mm. you. <laughs> yeah, mm. so it was, it, that was the progression. Uh, print, radio, then television, then everything else in between. Oh, okay, okay, great. So what is it about the, the intro as a rapper that actually made you laugh so much? I, I haven't, I don't think I've identified as a rapper in the last 20 years. So it's hilarious. So, okay, so that's that's someone actually, record. okay. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And, then now, and then now you move into production, executive producing. You have Ex a show. Uh, okay, uh, did you roll it back? <laughs> roll it back. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm, okay, so there's been a bit of a furlough when I, I grew interested in other things. Mm. I mm -hmm. developed an interest for technology. Okay. Um, and as usual with me, I get obsessive about pretty much everything I'm interested in. So I went off to study that for a couple of years. And then I got a call from, and I, I think I've said this on social media, so yeah. it's, it's on record. I got a call from the person who is easily my favorite creative to work with. Okay. And then he goes, oh, hey, um, I know you like code right now. I know you like building applications and software, but I've got this idea for TV. Okay. And I think you would like it. You'd like mm, it. Okay. Uh -huh. So we sat down and we had a conversation. It took all of maybe 40 seconds for you to say yes. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Justice, <laughs> Justice League, and uh, I think it was Flash. And then Batman goes, I want you to be, hold it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, just before we go to that, let's talk about coding and all of that. You right. got into coding at, you know, you know, people feel like for you to get into coding, you have to start from a very young age. But you got That's in after, true. yeah, you got in after. What, uh, I, I got what into pushed you into it? as an old man. Yeah, mm. what pushed you into it? And how can someone who feels like I don't have time or maybe I'm too old, how can someone get, get into technology? Well, I think the first thing is to get rid of the fear of what technology means. Um, a lot of people think that it's something that is going to be naturally more difficult than they have the ability to scale up to. Mm. But technology is, I mean, my end of technology, I'll speak for myself. Um, I'm a full stack developer. Um, mm -hmm. Most of my languages are really high level, so they're easy to understand. They read almost like uh, regular English. Mm. Okay. Um, I think the most important thing you have to do is set aside time and commit yourself to it. Okay. Um, with as little as, I'd say, four hours a week, and a lot of time on your hands and consistency, you could be building your own applications in as little as six months, I'd say, effortlessly. But Ooh. it does, 
programming is not like anything else I've ever done. Okay. Um, I've, I've, I've been an athlete, I've, I've been in media and all of that stuff. Programming's difficulties are unique. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, I see you and I know you're smart and you have all of these accolades on your name, that's nice. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. no, go back to square one. Mm -hmm. Start okay, so, again. So I think the question for me is that how have you managed to transition so smoothly into that and why, more importantly, why? What was it about radio that just chased you away even if you thought, <laughs> I mean, I did it so effortlessly and mm, I loved doing that it. it. Was best do you understand? So why yeah. did you decide to go from being out there, the literary, you know, you know how cool is that now? Yeah. You guys are literally in a cave most of the time. I, and, and I am. I so am. I, I've got to be honest. Um, I think the very first thing was <sighs> burnout. And it's an ugly thing to talk about, especially well, in the creative space. Yes. It is. Mm. But burnout is real and burnout mm. does happen. And mm. I experienced my very first um, run with burnout as far back as 2011. Was okay. there a particular incident that happened? No, I think I, I came into broadcasting with an idea of what I was going to be able to do because I was essentially taking my blueprint from what I'd done on radio. So I okay. thought, oh, you know, you do the research, you get the ideas right, and then you show up and done. No, okay. you, on TV, it's like, no, no, do you look good? Oh. And what are you wearing? Oh. And did you look at that camera the right way when you were doing that? I'm going to do that 200 more times. <laughs> I try to tell you. So you didn't get up, burned out from radio, mm. or you got burned out from TV. I got TV. burned out in my first two now, and a half years that, on TV. Now, will you take that thing you were trying to say earlier back? Will you take it back? <laughs> will you take it back? Will you? I, I, I feel like... I hear someone call my name. Uh, just don't, uh, I know, I know. One, one show you did, Men's Corner, uh, but you did that for a while and all of that. How was your experience with that? Was, there where, was that where the burnout came from? Or? No. Oh, okay. oh, no, no. Right. I, burnout was way earlier in my career. Uh, oh, okay. I'd say maybe 2011. Okay. And then I took a step aside. I originally intended to go off and get into something else, find some new line of pursuits. Mm -hmm. That would reawaken my, you know, eagerness to learn and practice. Yeah. practice yeah. Um, I looked at tech, ironically, mm. then. Okay. But right before, I actually got <laughs> weird story. I became a partner at a tech company, okay. uh, and that partnership lasted for about six months in its mm -hmm. entirety. But I was literally there and thinking, oh, I really want to do this. Mm. And then I got a call, and someone offered me a, sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity to work with a board that was looking into issues in the Niger Delta, which okay. is something I'm very, very passionate, passionate about, because that's okay. where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And they were looking at reapproaching violent actors in the Niger Delta, really young violent actors, mm -hmm. okay. and creating a pathway for them to find redemption, mm -hmm. okay. both socially and personally. Oh, right. um, I was very keen on that, and that project lasted uh, roughly two and a half to, no, pardon me, four years in total, okay. end to end. So when I got done with that, Came back out, jumped back into TV, liked it a little bit, and then got bit with the technical bug, and yeah, we mm. are. No, sorry, the technical uh, bug, where did it come from? Did it come, did it come from the currency? No. It, are you it, on no. it? No! <laughs> <laughs> no slander. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, I was not trying to trade in any of the fancy currencies, no. Mm. I, my, the technical bug came from an old dragon. And mm. um, one of my oldest dragons, one of the things that soundly whooped me as a child was math. Mm. Um, I failed math <laughs> literally from as far back as I can remember, from primary three, mm. all the way out of secondary school. Like I just <laughs> failed, 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 I failed. I love you, failed math. <laughs> nice to meet you, but just once. <laughs> <laughs> Be and he thought you were kindred spirits. Like <laughs> <laughs> pretending to be like us, how dare you? <laughs> no. Mm. Um, it was, it was an, an attempt to reapproach mathematics. Mm, okay. Um, and getting, running into the brick wall of not being able to do it again and again and again. And eventually I thought, you know, find an alternative route. Uh, okay. So I went looking and someone random, and thank heavens for that person, suggested. Yeah. Why don't you find something to use as a conceptual language so that you can not just do math as an abstract thing, which mm -hmm. is very difficult for people who are creatively inclined, because we think in pictures. Yeah. yeah. Um, true. True. And math is all nice. about um, putting quantities to reality. Yeah. That's not something creatives think about much. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Um, so when I tried that and failed again and again, someone pointed me at a programming language and said, you should try that as a way to learn math. Math. Okay. And I said, you know what? I've wasted about a month of my time. What's another month? Okay, and then you tried it. And then oh, I okay. tried it, and I liked it. 
and I liked it, and here we are. Mm, yeah. Wonderful. Now, the rush seems like something that is satisfying for you. It's, it's like it brings, <laughs> it, it brings a number of your personalities all together and all of that. Yes. How satisfying is that? What's the experience like um, on the rush? <sighs> you have to think First, about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The rush is satisfying on multiple levels for me. Mm. Um, it's satisfying on the level of the, the creative... Can I, can I send a few shout-outs first? Yeah! Let me start with that. Let me start with that. All right, so first and foremost, to the team at The Rush, um, to the production team, to the distribution team, to the technical guys, to the guys who are working behind the scenes, to the writers, to the guys on social media, to the director himself, you guys are amazing. Mm. And I really hoped that I could get a soapbox high enough to get up and tell you how I really enjoyed working with you on mm. this first season, but mm. I guess this is the soapbox of all soapboxes. No, so, okay. yeah, mm, okay. awesome. So on yeah, a personal level, question. right, Thank on you. a personal, personal level. level. <laughs> the, rush, the Rush was created almost as though I was going to create it. Yeah, so they had I, you in mind. Literally, literally. Mm. So when the director called me and said, you should work on this. I was like, yeah, mm. yeah, dude, I should. It's mm. got fitness. Mm -hmm. It's got um, human optimization built into it. It's got a lot of interaction with people who are on the cutting edge of defining trends who, I mean, the young people, of course. And it sort of questions a very old, randomly accepted truth that, oh, Nigerian youth are lazy. Mm. Well, I've had nine weeks mm. to hang with those people. And they are and not lazy. You're wrong. You know